Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Uh, I just want to run by some numbers. And if you guys don't believe me, you can research all this shit. It's all available via, you know, the Internet via Google. Now, in case you guys don't know that clown, that fraud hat man put up video basically saying, well, Floyd Mayweather, uh, the reason why he won all his fights is because of his uh, arm length. You know, that he had longer arms and longer reach than most of his opponents. And that that played a big factor in him being successful. Well, I could poke holes in that easily. Not just with Floyd Mayweather, just with random fights, period. You know, you know, Hat Man, for some reason, he had an in for American black men. And I forgot about a video that, that his punk ass put out, you know, trying to make fun of American black men. But... You know, Hat Man is a sucker. That's why he don't ever show his face. Because he, you know, he a bitch-ass nigga. And that's what it come down to. And he a hater. You know what I'm saying? He one of them uppity-ass Euro, Euro niggas that think they better than black men in the States. And he's not. He's a punk bitch. But, you know, anyway, man. He just was full of shit, man. The video is easy to debunk. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to tell you. And expose him on how he left out and how he was half ass in that video. Because as you guys know, I put out a response video and I challenged him to a debate. Of course, haven't heard from him. And I went on his channel and said, let's debate. So I know he's seen it. And I'll put it, you know, in case he tried to say, well, he missed the comment. I put it there like four times. I challenged him to a debate. But let me show you guys some how full of shit he is. Okay. He said that... uh you know, Floyd had a reach advantage over most of his opponents where he tried to say Floyd had uh, longer arms than Sugar Shane Mosley. All right, let, let, I'm going to let y'all see something right quick. Hold on. Okay, this is all you need right here. I don't have to show a whole bunch of, uh, you know, pictures and, you know, a tale of the tapes. Look at this. Actually, Sugar Shane Mosley, Sugar Shane Mosley has a longer reach than Floyd Mayweather. But who won the fight? At the end of the day, skills pay the bills. But let me run down some, you know, arm lengths and reaches and, you know, certain fights. And I'm going to show you that this dude is full of shit. Okay. Let's continue. And most recent fights. Okay. Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalov. Sergey Kovalov had like a 72 and a half to 73 uh, inch reach advantage to Ward 71. Ward found a way to beat him twice. Okay, Manny Pacquiao had a 67 inch reach. Sugar Shane Mosley had a 74. Jesse Vargas had a 71 inch um, reach. Chris Algieri, 72. Marquez, 60, 67, same as, um, same as Manny Pacquiao. But Margarito, 73. Manny Pacquiao was able to beat all those dudes. So to sit up there and say that just because somebody has longer arms and a longer reach that they can't be beat, that's ridiculous. All right, let me give you some more numbers, and I'm just going to piece them together. All right, I'm going to just read down some names. All right, Thomas Hearns, 80-inch reach. Ali, 84-inch. Hagler, 75-inch uh, reach. Paul Williams, 79 Lennox Lewis, 84. Steve Cuttingham, 83. Larry Holmes, 81. Buster Douglas, 81. Rockman, 82. Adonis Stevenson, 77. Sugar Ray Leonard, 74. Now, Sugar Ray Leonard beat Marvin Hagner. Whatever you think. We're just going by results. All right. Sugar, Sugar Ray Leonard, 74-inch reach. Beat Thomas Hearns and had a draw with him in two fights. Sugar Ray Leonard, 74-inch reach. Thomas Hearns, 80. Sugar Ray Leonard, 74-inch reach. Marvin Hagner, 75. Sugar Ray Leonard, 1. Sergio Martinez, 73. Paul Williams, 79. He has a victory over Paul Williams. Knockout. All right. Do I need to continue? Muhammad Ali, 84. Larry Holmes, 81. Larry Holmes beat Muhammad Ali. Okay. 
I do. I, I keep doing this. You fucked up, hat man, with your bullshit. Y'all can look all this shit up if you think I'm lying, man. All this shit up, man. All right, Oscar De La Hoya, once again, 70-inch reach. Okay. Manny Pacquiao, 67. Who won that fight? Manny Pacquiao. So, I could continue. I really could, like, body this dude worse than what I'm doing now. I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, Hat Man is a fraud, man. You know, all this shit can be looked up. Reach, arm length, don't mean shit. At the end of the day, it just come down to boxing skills. Floyd Mayweather was a crafty boxer. See, Hat Man didn't put up none of these fights because he's a fraud. He too busy always trying to, you you know, hate on Floyd Mayweather's uh, historic career. And for anybody that's riding with Hat Man, all I can say once again, when it comes to Floyd Mayweather, 50 and 0. Over a billion dollars in pay-per-view sales. Once again, 50 and 0. Over a billion dollars in pay-per-view sales. You know, bottom line, if reach was that big of a factor, it helps. But at the end of the day, it's always come down to skill set. If you a skillful boxer... You'll find a way to win. Like I said, Steve Cunningham, who fought at heavyweight, has an 83-inch reach. And he's lost, like, what, 9, 10 fights? Muhammad Ali, one of the longest reaches in history, lost fights. To guys with shorter arms. Joe Frazier had shorter arms. And he was able to beat Muhammad Ali. You know, I'm I'm just like, I'm just like befuddled with some of the bullshit that come out these guys' mouths. Like, a motherfucker can't get on a computer and look up and counter whatever people come with. But anyway, man, let me get ready to get to work, man. I just wanted to further, you know, expose that fraud, uh, whack man. But anyway, man, I, I could body him even worse, man. I could really make a fool out of him. But if you don't believe me, you can look up these numbers yourself. Common opponents. Reach arm length don't mean shit. It's always about skills and who's the smarter fighter. Floyd was just the smarter fighter in 50 of his fights. And to say, oh, he couldn't get around awkward. And keep in mind, Floyd fought a lot of fighters that were taller than him also. You got to bring height into the equation. You got to bring everything into the equation. It ain't about just arm length. How was it? How was Floyd able to beat Conor McGregor, a dude who had a longer reach and, and and was taller than him? If that's the case, if arm length played that big of a role, like I said, man, that man full of shit, man. That man is a complete fucking fraud, man. Dude ain't nothing more than a bitch ass, you know, uh, black man hater, uh, brothers in the states, and that's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? I'm a brother in the states. And I got love for all my black brothers in Africa, Europe, you know what I'm saying, South America, wherever, man. Because I'm, I'm a brother, man, and I, I'm going to have love for my people no matter where they, where they are. Africa, they don't have to be in the United States. At the end of the day, man, we all brothers, man. But for some reason, Hat Man think he better than the brothers in the States, you know, which make him a uppity, T and crumpets, bitch-ass coon. But anyway, man, he bodied. I'm out. Let me get ready for work.